welcome back to another YouTube video. Today, we're going to be doing the water electrolysis experiment. I did this experiment as my science fair project topic last year, and I thought I'd share it with you guys too. I had so much fun doing this, and I know you guys will as well. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to our channel, and without further ado, let's get on to the video. Now, you might be wondering, what exactly is water electrolysis? Well, water electrolysis is simply splitting a water molecule into hydrogen and oxygen by the passage of an electric current. To begin with, I will go over all the necessary materials that are needed for this experiment. But, before you set everything up, make sure to grab an adult for supervision. Alright, so we're going to need a large container, around 1.5 liters of water, two graduated cylinders, two graphite rods. These will serve as our electrodes. You can get this from your pencils. A 9 volt battery and connector, two alligator clips, two tablespoons of baking soda, and lastly, two rubber bands. the alligator clips as a single unit. So I cut them in half to connect them to the battery connector like this. Connect the ends to each other. Twist them together like this. Make sure to secure the ends of the wire with insulation tape or duct tape. Now let's start with our experimental setup. First, arrange the container and the rubber bands with the formation of an X on top, like this. Attach the graphite rods to the alligator clip, like this. Tape both ends of the clips to the bottom, like this. Dissolve two spoons of baking soda in the water and pour the solution to the container carefully. Immerse the graduated cylinders into the solution in such a way that they get filled completely. Mount the cylinders onto the graphite rods trying not to let the water go out. Support the cylinders using rubber bands like this. So make sure to let all the bubbles go out of the cylinder and then gently push the rod in like this. And then get the rubber band and just put it across and then it should look like that. This is how the experimental setup should look like once the battery is connected. As you can see here, the gases will be collected in the graduated cylinders. A water molecule contains two hydrogen atoms and an oxygen atom. As a result, upon electrolysis, we get double the amount of hydrogen than oxygen. The gases displace the water from the cylinders. So here, the measuring cylinder that contains the most amount of empty space has hydrogen gas, and the other one has oxygen. Here is a glimpse of my poster. I compared the rate of production of hydrogen gas in two different solution concentrations. This 
video will encourage you all to come up with many different hypotheses and experience the fun with science at home. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you all in our next week's video. Till then, goodbye and take care.